This video is going to walk through installing and using the FutureBit Moonlander 2, which I will be using to mine Litecoin. My idea is to install it, plug it into my USB hub, and let it run in the background of my work computer. I figure since I will be running it during the day when I'm working anyway, that the additional electricity usage won't be that noticeable. I'm guessing. I haven't calculated my average electricity usage before installing or after to see any difference. So here we are on my desktop. The first thing you are going to need to do is download a driver. The link is below. Simply download the file, extract it from the zip, and install. The same as any other time you have installed drivers on your computer. I'd also recommend, after you install the driver, restarting your machine. Once the driver is installed, you will need to sign up with a Litecoin pool. I went to the obvious choice of litecoinpool.org. I've already signed up with an account, and I'm not going to walk you through that process as there are a few tutorials out there already on how to do it. Basically, just follow the steps on the sign-up screen. Also note that once you have set up your account, you will need to enter your payment address, which will be the Litecoin payment address you have associated with your cryptocurrency wallet. Um, that's also another thing that you can set up separately. I'm not going to go through that in this video. Now for the fun stuff. You will need to install the mining software. Before you download the miner from uh, GitHub, uh, I've placed the link below as well, disable your antivirus program. Basically, all antivirus programs consider cryptocurrency miners a bad thing. You can re-enable it later and add an exception for it after everything is installed. Okay, now download the software and extract it from the zip file. I placed mine. I placed mine in my documents folder, but you can put it wherever you want, such as your desktop or some other folder. It doesn't really matter. Then go to the one labeled Start Moonlander 2. Right click on that and hit Edit. This will bring up Notepad. So we can see here that the bfgminer.exe is telling the script to run the miner. This is your light coin pool where the account is set up at. The two things you'll need to change in this are going to be where it has a dash U and a dash P. The U is the username and the P is the password. So go back to Litecoin Pool and you will need to add a worker if you haven't done this already. I've got two set up for my tests. Notice it has the username field which is going to be the same and then a dot and then something after it. All you need to do for each worker is just add something after the dot and a password. The password isn't that important, so don't use a password you don't want people to see. In my case, I just use test for mine since these are tests and I'm showing it to you guys. I'll change it to something else later on. Then click the Add Worker button. Now, once you have your worker, copy and replace the user listed. Be sure to have the full name then do the same for the password. So notice that there's a username and password already here. You just replace those uh, unless you want to mine for another person. And if you do want to mine for another person, well then use my username and password. Save your notepad. Now before you run it, you of course need to plug the miner in. So put that into your USB hub or even just the USB drive on your computer. That's the nice thing about this particular one is that it has a built-in fan. Some of the others on the market you will need to purchase a fan separately to keep it cool. Once you plug it in, notice it's not actually that loud. Uh, as you can hear here, it's probably a little bit quieter than when the fan on my computer gets going. Now that the miner is plugged in, simply double click the Start Moonlander 2 to get it running. Give it a minute to two, and you should see your worker in the green, and you should see a speed rate start calculating on the Litecoin pool. If you don't see it, in your script on your computer, you should see an error. Uh, two of them that I experienced were bfgminer.exe is not recognized as an external or internal command. In this case, I had to reinstall the drivers to get that resolved. Another one is, please check the details from the list below of the servers you have input. Most likely you have input the wrong URL, forgotten to add a port, or have not set up a worker. This was because when I copied and pasted my username, I didn't copy it correctly. So double check if you have your username and password exactly as it should be if you're getting this error. 
Now for the results. How am I doing? I previously did an experiment to see how much I could mine just running the script on my computer. And you can see here nearly a quarter of the speed as the moon lander. It also had the negative impact of slowing down my computer. Since the moon lander is doing the work, I'm getting four times the speed and it doesn't slow down my machine. The downside so far is I need to turn off my USB hub when I turn off my computer. Since the moon lander has the built-in fan, as long as it's getting power through the hub, the fan will run even though it might not actually be running the script because the computer's turned off. Now that I'm looking at the numbers, I'm not really going to make any money off of this. I'm averaging less than a penny an hour when calculating the profits. It is possible to adjust the speed, so I'm going to play with that to see if I can squeeze any more out of it and hopefully at least recoup the cost of the, the, the moon lander. So if you're looking to make money, this is probably not going to be a good investment. But if you want to start dabbling in cryptocurrency mining, which is what I'm doing, then it is worth it to get some experience so that you can deal with editing scripts and doing the calculations and just uh, giving it uh, some thought. Finally, once you have everything up and running, don't forget to re-enable your virus protection software and add an exception for the miner. I'm not going to walk through the process as it'll vary depending on which program you're using. Anyway, hopefully you found this helpful. Uh, if you leave a comment below with an issue you might have experienced, I don't know if I can help you with it. I'll try, but the reality is I'm completely new to this and I'm learning as I go. I'm not an expert, and um, so if you experience a problem that I have not experienced, my ability to help you will, well, probably not happen.